Hey, welcome to this session on converting unlike fractions to light fractions. So let's look at what light fractions are. What do we mean by that? Here we have fractions with the same denominator. For example, if we have 2 by 9, 5 by 9 and 7 by 9, we notice that 9 is the common denominator for all these three fractions. So these are called as fractions with common or like denominator. So what do we do with like fractions? We can compare them. We can say 2 by 9 is less than 5 by 9 because 2 is less than 5. We can add them. Here, because these are like fractions and they have the same denominators, we're going to add 4 plus 1 and put the denominator as is. And then we say it's 5 by 9. Similarly, we subtract the numerator and then we put the denominator as is and we say 4 by 9. So unless the fraction needs to be simplified further, like fractions allow us to just add or subtract the uh, or compare the numerators and leave the denominator as is. Now there are a few things we need to know about the like fractions. Let's say we have 2 by 5, 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. The 5 in the denominator tells us what we have in our hands and the numerators 2, 3 and 4 tell us what we are interested in or what we are looking at. For example, if we have 5 pieces of chocolate, let's say we ate 2 of them and then in another case we have 5 pieces of chocolate again and we ate 3 of them. Obviously these are comparable because we are still talking about 5 pieces of chocolate. Now if we have 4 by 5, it's another 5 pieces of chocolate, let's say someone ate 4 parts of it. So still the baseline or the denominator or the whole part which is 5 is the same for all the fractions. So that's why we can compare them, add them, subtract them and do other operations on them. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Now let's come to unlike fractions. What are unlike fractions? These are of course fractions with different denominators. Let's say we have 2 by 3, 3 by 5 and 5 by 7. The denominators 3, 5 and 7 are obviously very different from each other. So they are called as the unlike denominators. Now why do we need to convert these unlike to like fractions? Let's look at comparing unlike fractions. Can we do the same way as with like fractions? We have 2 by 3 which is less than 3 by 5. That's what we are going to say just as in like fractions we say it's because 2 is less than 3. But is that true? That's a big question. So let's take a look at an example here with the same chocolate based stuff where I have 3 pieces of chocolate out of which I am looking at 2 of them. Then I have 5 pieces of chocolate out of which I am looking at three of them. Can you say you can compare these two pieces of chocolates or two blocks of chocolate? Can we add them or subtract them or do some functions with them? It doesn't look like it because they are of different sizes and the baseline is not the same for either one of them. So there is this huge difference in levels with the two. So we may not be able to do the functions that we want to or operations on these two fractions. So perhaps that's why we need to convert these to like fractions so that we can perform the operations that we need to. Now what do we do? Fractions with different denominators have to be converted to fractions with same denominators. Let's see how to do that. First, we find the least common multiple of the denominators. So if we are given 2 by 3 and 3 by 5, we are going to find the LCM of the denominators 3 and 5. For that, I am going to choose the multiples method. There are many methods in which you can find the LCM. So you choose your own way and try to figure out how to do the LCM. I have listed 5 multiples of 3 and then another 5 multiples of 5. And if you notice, what is the common, least common multiple between these two sets of values? It's 15. So the LCM is 15. Now in step 2, what we are going to do is find the multiple of each denominator that gives us the LCM. So once again, let's go back to 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. I want the denominator to be 15, which is the LCM of 3 and 5. 
So how do I get from 3 to 15? Same way, how do I get from 5 to 15? So obviously, I have to perhaps multiply the denominator 3 with a value or a multiple to get 15. Same way, 5 has to be multiplied with some value to get 15. In the previous slide, we saw these multiples and we said 3 times 5 is 15 and 5 times 3 is 15. So the multiple in case 1 is 5. And for uh, the second uh, fraction, the multiple is 3. So let's keep these two in mind. Now let's get to step 3 where we are saying in each fraction, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with this multiple. Go back to 2 by 3 and 3 by 5. Now I'm going to multiply by 5 in this case because the multiple of the LCM that gives me 15 is 5. And for 3 by 5, the multiple is 3. So when we multiply the values, we get 10 by 15 and 9 by 15. Now observe something. What do you notice between 2 by 3, 10 by 15? And 3 by 5 and 9 by 15. Remember, we multiplied the numerator and denominator with the same value in each case. So, what are we looking at here? We are looking at equivalent fractions. So, the value 2 by 3 and 10 by 15 are pretty much the same because we multiplied the numerator and denominator by the same value. So, we have converted these two fractions now and let's look at the denominators which are common. The value is 15. So, now we are ready to do any comparisons or adding the fractions or subtracting. Anything that we'd like to do with these two fractions, we can do them because now they are like fractions. Let's look at another example. We want to convert 4 by 9 and 5 by 6 to like fractions. Now, first thing we want to do is find the LCM of the denominators, which is 18. In step 2, we find the multiple of each denominator that gives us the LCM. So, for 9, it's 9 times 2 is 18. And for 6, it is 6 times 3 is 18. So, in each fraction now, we multiply the numerator and denominator with the same multiple that we get in step 2. So here, since the multiple is 2, I'm going to multiply 4 and 9 by 2. And here, because the multiple is 3, I'm going to multiply 5 and 6 with 3. I get 8 by 18 and 15 by 18. Now that we have this common denominator or like denominator of 18, we can continue to do comparisons, addition, subtraction and other operations. So this is the way you would convert unlike fractions to like fractions. Hope you enjoyed this session and learned something. Catch up with you in the next session. Thank you and bye-bye.